what makes a great leader and a good manager. A good manager, and, and you know, we get things done on day to day, is an action of planning, organizing, staffing, including leading and controlling. If you look at the words of Henry Fayol in 1949, the classical thought of management is all about how do we maximize output organization through administrative implementation of resources. That's what managers do. Whereas a leader is able to envision the future, a leader is able, is able to impact and influence and have have a set a follower who's able to you can impact and influence them, motivate them, inspire them, help them, coach them, guide them, mold them to solve the problem, the obstacles of the vision. So vi leaders are far between very few. There are many managers. But remember, to be a great manager, you need to be a good leader, just be a great leader. But not all managers are leaders, but all leaders that you see today have uh, uh, those skills that I explained about inspiring, uh, motivating. Actually, it reminds me of a very, um, my, one of my favorite quote from President Dwight D. Eisenhower, a five-star general who became the president in the World War II. He says this is, leadership is the art of getting someone else to do something you want to be done because he, the employee or the person, wants to do it. Not because he has to do it, which a manager usually use because of position authority. A leader inspire people to do it because they want to do it, not because they have to do it. Because they feel inspired. They want to do it for you and they will do it with blood, sweat and tears and even die for you in the military sense. That's what makes a great leader. We have too many managers out there. There are very few, 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 few leaders. Mm.